They say we are made from the same elements as the cosmos, so I can't help but compare myself to the moon. You can say we're a bit similar. She has wounds from the stars, and I, I have wounds from people. On the phone, he tells me that he does not love me anymore, and I wonder if this is what Pluto felt that time it decided to drift too far off the solar system. Sometimes, even gravity can't keep you in orbit. When you fall in love with a boy who leaves, especially when you need him the most, do not forget that even after decades, comets still return. And even if our astronauts never go back to the moon, their lunar footprints would always be a giant leap for mankind, and you will always be a giant leap in his life. So no matter how charred your spinal cords are from getting too close to that sun, your arms will still unfurl and you will welcome another celestial body in your arms because the universe is not finished expanding. So during the nights you hug your knees too close to your chest, digging for the right answers between your legs and somehow finding them in the astral gleams of your heart. Realize that you are not the only one aching. Somewhere in the Milky Way, he is probably aching too. Thank you.